Hallelujah, everybody. Everybody, Shabbat Shalom. The Sabbath is here. Praise Yah. <laughs> All right, hallelujah, everybody. Uh, this is uh, Tor Life Ministries, and praise y'all. We're about to get started here. Uh, let me uh, send out the link for those of you that want to join us uh, as we get ready to pray here. Hold on here. Okay. What a blessed week it was. What a blessed week. Okay. All righty. Shema Israel, Yahweh Aloheinu, Yahweh Echad, Baruch Shem Kivo, Mahuto, Leolam Hear, O Israel, Yahweh is our Elohim, Yahweh is one. And you should love Yahweh with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your might. And have these words which I command you this day be upon your heart. And you shall teach them diligently to your children. And speak of them when you sit in your house, when you walk by the way, when you retire and when you rise. And you shall bind them for a sign upon your hand and let them be frontlets between your eyes. And you shall write them on a doorpost of your house and upon your gates. Praise Yah, everybody. Thank you all for joining us. I understand it's a preparation night or Friday night here, and we all have so many other ministries that are doing things Friday night and places to go, and I just appreciate you all being here with me, which has become such a part of my life every Friday night to be here and do this, and just trying to fellowship and reach out to people. And then tomorrow we'll do a more of a, a get into more of a study, a Torah study. But uh, Yah is so good, and He's just blessing uh, everything uh, that's happening here. And today was uh, just an amazing day, and uh, it can go both ways and ups and downs. But all I know is today that you know I, I I'm going to give you an example of something that happened. <laughs> and so uh, a couple of weeks uh, last week. Uh, my the string in my lawnmower was about to break, so I took it to the lawn mower shop to fix the string. It was a twenty dollar fix, not a big deal, maybe thirty dollars, but and then they fixed it. Well, then I went to use it this week and it didn't work. And I went back with the lawn mower and I said it's not working. And the guy said, "Well, you know, we didn't touch anything. We just changed the string." I remained my composure and I just said, "Well, I need it fixed." And they said, "Leave it here and." You know, it sounds like the carburetor needs to be fixed and so on or whatever. So uh, I went today to see if it was done. They said, I'm going to look at it today. They looked at it. I went there and the guy said, well, uh, we cleaned it and it's working. And he was honest with me and he didn't have to be. So I just said to him, how much? And he said, no charge. So what a great surprise that was. And now we'll see what happens when I go to use it again, if it's going to work. It's a training here. I didn't get to use it, but. But uh, just such a blessing. Yeah, 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 it's, yeah it's good. So, uh, yes. So just little things like that, you know, is pretty, pretty uh, wonderful because it could have went the other way. Oh, you got to spend a lot of money to fix this and so on. I don't want to have to deal with that. So, so those of you that have been joining us for morning prayer, it's been going great. We do pray every morning uh, and we've been, I just love meeting with people in the morning here for prayer. So thank you for joining us for that. If you have any prayer requests here tonight, just please put them up and uh, and everybody write them down and lift them up and keep those prayers lifted up this week. Also, we're getting closer to June, uh, the June event, 24th and 25th, the Battle Cry event. It's getting closer and I'm getting excited. And I pray you all have your tickets. If not, get your tickets. Uh, last week, I wasn't able to share my screen uh, because my computer had problems two weeks ago, but I seemed to straighten out the problems. And then last week I saw what the problem was 
after I got off of why I wasn't able to share the screen, but uh, United and Yah, United and Yah is a, a wonderful ministry and uh, they're putting on this event uh, for orphans and widows and, and, and so on. And, and, and it's, it's going to be great. So uh, there's a two minute video here. I'm going to play right now because I wanted to play it last week, but I wasn't able to share my screen. And I'm going to be one of the speakers at this event. And I'm so excited because I'm speaking about topics that I think people really need to know about. So uh, let me try to share this now and see if this works this week because last week didn't. Okay, here we go. Perfect. Okay, let's see. Share. Okay. Uh, everybody watch this and, and here we go. I can't see it, Paul. You say you can't see it? It's the Golden no, Gate no, Bridge we can't we're see looking it. at, Paul. What did you say, Jerry? It's a picture of the Golden Gate Bridge, or a bridge that looks like the Golden Gate Bridge. Oh, really? Okay, well, let's stop the share. Hold on. Well, we'll have to figure that out. Okay, well... Hold on. Let's see if this works. Hold on. Tell me if this works, everybody. What about now, Max? Yep, got it. It's working, okay. Alrighty, alrighty. So that's uh, the amazing event that's going to be taking place here uh, next, next uh, coming up here soon. Shalom, shalom. What, what is and this? greetings. I think I stopped to share. Uh, we're back here. All right. Uh, so uh, praise Yah, praise Yah uh, for uh, another great time that we're going to be having June 25th and 26th. Uh, Brother Max, you want to say anything about the event? Because you're going to be one of these presenters. Um, I just... Um... I just wanted to add that um, someone said that was an excellent sort of professional video. And yeah, a couple of the girls in the Philippines made that video. It's, it's, um, it is very professional and they're getting even better. But they, they actually went to the effort to make a video that's about an hour long with um, some of the records of pictures of those who have been supported. Because this, this whole thing is for the orphans and widows. And 
it's part of what's been done by just team members within this within this group over 10 years just from our own pockets so um this is the first time we've actually called for other people to come and you know help out in it um so if, if you're really interested in seeing all the work that's been done go and go to the united and yar video um well i guess you can find it on youtube or go to the site and it'll be there and you can watch through that if you like wonderful wonderful thank you thank you so much and just uh for everyone that's with us here tonight thank you and uh yeah if you can uh get and be part of that event that's gonna be really great i'm uh the latest and the greatest information uh, we'll be sharing and uh something's on my heart today i want to share before we say uh, uh hellos to everybody and uh and our guests and also our uh, we got a prayer request right now from uh sister uh carlene uh sister carlene is uh uh, in the side chat here and uh, said she's in the hospital with her son asking for prayers for him to be delivered from his eating disorder. So please keep Sister Carlene and her son and the whole family yeah, uplifted up in your right prayers. From, uh, so, so here in Florida, we have something called VBS, which stands for Vacation Bible School. And my children go to VBS or went to VBS. And it's a summer thing. In the summer, they want something to do with the children. So they, the churches put this on, the local churches. Now, I'm probably the, uh, I, I went from an extreme Torah terrorist to uh, the most, you know, I don't want to say balanced, but I have a tolerance for a lot of things. And I give people the benefit of the doubt many times. And I'm not really into Christian bashing like a lot of other people are, but uh but I know what the Bible says. So we went there today and uh, they were apparently feeding the children. And I got there and they were feeding all of the children. This is a church, ham sandwiches. And I'm going to make a video about it in the future. But I certainly had to bite my tongue not to uh, <laughs> say anything. Uh, and, and, you know, I, I think it's a learning process because... In the past, I might have said something or turned over tables like Yeshua, but I just took it all in and prayed. And, uh, you know, but it's, uh, for those of you that are new here, ham is, is an abomination according to our scripture, according to our creator. So we shouldn't be uh, eating it at all or feeding it to children in church or anywhere. But this is a crazy world we live in today. Uh, so... Besides that, I mean, I guess if that's the worst thing that happened today, I'm, I'm doing pretty good, I guess. Uh, so uh, uh, one of my brothers just came here with his son. So that was nice. I got to meet his son. And uh, yeah, last week, Shiva Oat was wonderful. And, and I pray you all had a blessed Shiva Oat. Thank you, Shayla uh, Somerville, for your, your, your super chat. Super chat is open. Crazy, yeah. And uh, Alico, thank you. So let's uh, let's say our, our hellos to everybody. I don't know where um, Brother Tom is tonight. The praise okay, but we got praise Yah Way is joining us. Everybody, say where you're dialing in from, so we know. So that'd be helpful. Uh, Watch Woman on the Vine, Shalom. Valerie Escuvi, Shabbat Shalom. Spooky, Shabbat Shalom. Gerald Morawski, Shalom. And she asked the star Shabbat Shalom. It's your first time. Let us know, everybody. Uh, Nina, Nina, Nino, brother Nino from Jacksonville. Shalom. Carlene Paul joining us. Shalom. Brother Jerry Conway's here tonight. Uh, shalom, brother Jerry. We missed you last week. And brother Max, we'll say hello to you in a moment. Thanks for being here. All the way from New Zealand. Andrew Logan, Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom and Sharum Shaul Yisrael. Everybody keeps his brother lifted up in prayer. He's homeless. Keep him lifted up in prayer. Shalom, family. Shalom, Shalom, Shaul, Shalom. We're saying our hellos and we'll come say hello to you in, in a few minutes. But how was your week and how are you doing, Shaul? Um, surviving by the favor of Yahweh, brother. I'm still rejoicing and praising Yahweh. 
for allowing me to live and see another day and to see another incoming Shabbat. Just continue to pray for your brother. Pray for one another. Continue to walk in the faith of um, Yeshua. Love you, family. Hallelujah. Okay, brother. You hang in there. We'll talk to you soon again. Uh, Sister Sarah, Shabbat Shalom from Muscadine, Michigan, says, please pray for a friend, uh, Maurice. Her uncle died a couple of days ago and she is having trouble with diabetes. And please pray for Shalom and health, healthy life. So we lift up Maurice and may this draw her close to Yah and keep her close to Yah. Mike Audit, Shabbat Shalom. Uh, Sister D, Shabbat Shalom. Sister Robin Smith, Shabbat Shalom. And Adam Kelson, Shabbat Shalom. Wayne Browser, Shabbat Shalom from Louisiana. Uh, Lee Grace, Shabbat Shalom. Uh, uh, Wayne, uh, Lee Grace. Remember everybody, say where you're from. Uh, Sandra P and T, Shabbat Shalom. Joe Petrito. Shabbat Shalom. Sheila Somerville, Shabbat Shalom. Jan Metting in Winter Haven, Florida, Shabbat Shalom. And uh, Torah Wife Ministries, my blessed wife, Shabbat Shalom. Uh, Edette Campos, Shabbat Shalom from, uh, from Phil's. From, that's either Philippines or Philadelphia, but I'll say Philippine. Uh, so. All right, Jerome Hall, Shabbat Shalom. Uh, so prayer request from Jerome for, for Yahweh to help his family and keep, uh, to find a place to live that meets their needs. Shabbat Shalom, Jim McGuire, Jan Menning. Uh, Jan Menning, Shalom. Shells C, Shabbat Shalom from Newfoundland. Praise report, a friend of mine, welcome new baby into the world today. Hallelujah. Yes, another blessing in this world. And we pray for that friend's household and that baby. Yes. Nicole CB, Shabbat Shalom in Washington, uh, D.C. And Elizabeth Drury, Shabbat Shalom. Uh, shalom to Alago, uh, And... David Mounts, Shabbat Shalom, from Creston, California. Flora, Amazon, Shabbat Shalom. Then there's somebody just with the name YouTube user, Shabbat Shalom. Uh, Renee Joy, thank you, from uh, Tyndale's Beach, New Zealand. Thank you, Renee, for saying where you're from. Uh, and uh, praise Yah, welcome, thanks for being here tonight. Uh, Sammy Nakla, thank you, Shalom. And Jim McGyver from, uh, oh, from the Chris Cash Farm in Live Oak, Florida. All right. Good to see you here, Jim. Thank you. And say hello to Brother Chris. Uh, Les Sarita, Jay, Shabbat Shalom in East Ham, Massachusetts. Uh, Merciful Ninja. Shabbat Shalom. Thank you for being here. Yes, let's give thanks. Isaiah 12 from Arizona. Shabbat Shalom. Tracy Lynn. Shabbat Shalom from Freeport, Pennsylvania. Shasta Star. Shabbat Shalom. And Jerome Holes in Senegal, Michigan. Shalom. Angelo Bakku in Pennsylvania. Morrisville, Pennsylvania. Gil in Malaysia. Shabbat Shalom, Brother Gil. Yes, hallelujah. Tom Dene, Shabbat Shalom from Bradenton. Oh, Bradenton, Florida, Shalom. And yeah, it's important everyone to say where you're from because if somebody else is looking for fellowship, you might be right next to them. And if you didn't say where you're from, you might not even know. So just Shalom to you all here. Yeshua is my Messiah, Shalom. Yes, hallelujah. Techstar in Belgium, Shabbat Shalom. Henry Al in, in Ontario, Canada, shalom to you. 
All righty, everybody. Praise Yah. Praise Yah. I know it's earlier and it's the West Coast. It's still a little after six o'clock, five o'clock. So people will join later. So I just need to get up early. I can't be up late like I used to be hanging all late. So I got to just do this a little earlier. All right. Okay, let's go and say hello to our uh, online callers, uh, the people joining. And if you want to join us on Zoom, everybody, uh, here's the link for Zoom. And Shalom, Nate in Canada. There's the link if you want to join us. First, let's say hello again to Brother Max. Shalom, Brother Max. How are you doing? I'm doing quite well, thank you. Yep. Just some, yeah, a lot of thoughts on my mind this week, I'm afraid. Do you want to share some of them with us? Uh, yeah, I mean, it's a day of praising the Father, but I guess, I guess we do need to encourage one another, I think, to to really use the time we have to warn people. Um, this analogy has been used many times before that, you know, we're, we're, on, we're on the battles, we're in a battle zone. And um, if you see a civilian wandering through the battle zone, dazed and confused from the shell shock, it's, it, and you see the tanks rolling, it's, it's our prerogative to get out of the trenches and grab that person, if not just to yell out, look out, you know, because, there are people all around us that are on their way to hell. Um, there's no other way to put it. And um, we, we, I guess we've grown up with a Christian sort of concept that um, you need to be a missionary to, to go to some far-flung country to, to preach the good news. No, no, you, your, your preaching can start next door, your neighbor, your, the people you walk to the supermarket or to the post office, whatever you go to do. Um, and we are losing time. Um, there is hate speech. Well, you know, the Bible will very soon be hate speech. I watched this awful documentary this week called What is a Woman? And I thought, well, I wouldn't have normally watched it because I know it's to do with this sort of this strange issue that people don't even understand what, what sex and gender is. But uh, it opened my eyes. And, and I, I used to think that, you know, the days of Noah were – you know, I would always think of the days of Lot where people would be bashing on your door to knock down your place to rape your daughters or whatever or, the, or your friends. But those days are upon us. People are, are assaulting our children and people with, with this anti-biblical nonsense, and it is, it is accelerating in the world. But uh, let's not focus on the negative. I'm just, just using that to say get out there because our time is limited. We're losing our opportunity to share the truth that we have at our fingertips and trust in daily. That's my rant for the day, I suppose. No, it's it's absolutely crazy in this. I don't know. It's sad, but I mean, in the old days, if somebody, a man would have been talking about dressing like a woman or gender, we would have just laughed. We wouldn't even have taken it seriously. I mean, we would have just, we would have laughed. We wouldn't even think it was a pot, like it's Halloween maybe, a guy dressed up as a woman. We wouldn't have thought about it. Uh, it's just, it's just crazy. And I thought the other day is I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go to the bathroom in the middle of the street. When a cop tries to give me a ticket, I'm gonna tell the cop, well, I'm a dog. I identify as a dog. <laughs> and you know, go find my owner. I'm a dog. You know. So uh, what can they say? But that's how ludicrous it is. That's exactly how ludicrous it is. It sounds crazy to somebody, you know. But that's exactly what is, it, it, it's taking place. And that in itself is crazy. So everyone, go to the bathroom in the middle of the street in front of your house. I'm going to cop come, tell the cop, what are you talking about? I'm a dog. Uh, I identify as a dog. You know, so. Yeah. But anyway, brother, thanks for being here. And, uh, you know, we press on. And uh, I fully agree with you. We don't have a lot of time, but without even a time factor, Yeshua said, go and make disciples. Go and warn them. We are to be watchmen. You know, that's what, that is our job and our role is to warn people and help people. That's it. Warn them and help them. That's it. We don't got to, you know, it's, it's, and nobody's doing that. So few people are doing that out there. And, uh, and, and it's, you know, I want to get the people the word out and just, but we got to tell them Yeshua died for them. 
And this is the sad thing here, brother. Listen, right now there's 79 people on here and I've been on here for eight years doing this. And how many of you, I say this all the time, how many of you told somebody today Yeshua died for them? Sadly, of the 79 people on here right now, the majority of people didn't tell anyone today. I mean, it's it, we've been telling you this for a long time. It's not just a saying. Go out there and tell people. Go post it to your social media. You know, go go tell somebody or whatever. But but people aren't doing that. So it's it's anyway, brother. Thanks for being here. I appreciate what you're what you're doing, and uh, I'm excited. You know, that's why. Just I think we spent too much time inside buildings you know, with their amens and hallelujahs and too little time on the street, you know, suffering well, you know, and going out there and telling people what they don't want to hear, but what they need to hear. You know, it's just not happening. So, you know, but yeah. So thank you, brother, for being here. All right. Brother Jacob James, Shabbat Shalom in Nigeria. Shalom, brother Jacob. All right. All the way from Nigeria and finding time to join us. Thank you. All right, we had a, Melissa had her hand up a moment ago. I don't know if she put it down. Oh, there's still not, no, she put it down. But let's say hello to Melissa next. Shalom, Melissa, how are you? Hi, I'm okay. Where are you calling from? I was in one that I remember when it was against the law, if a man went into a woman's restroom, and now it's against the law to tell him to leave. So it's the exact opposite. Yep. Yeah. Will it ever go back to the other way? I don't know. <sighs> the world we live in, you know? Well, I guess I'm going to make a confession, and this is going to be uh, embarrassing to me, but I really had to use the rest. And somebody was in the handicapped restroom at Sam's Club, and I thought, you know what, if men are allowed to come in this room and all this stuff, and my husband was still alive at the time, so I, it must have been longer ago than I thought, but it was right after this stuff started. And I said, I feel really manly and I got to go. And I went right into the men's restroom and I used it. <laughs> Nobody came in. It just, it, but I had to go. So it's kind of nice that you can do that. <laughs> well, I mean, I go to the woman's bathroom all the time, not the, the co-ed woman, not the woman's bathroom that like is for more than one woman. But if there's like a single bathroom and a single bathroom and one says men and women and the, the men's one is crowded and it's just a single bathroom, that's one thing. But when it's a bathroom that there are other women in, I shouldn't be allowed in there and vice versa. <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. But, well... Melissa, where are you located? I'm in Ohio. Okay. Well, yeah, thank you for sharing. Will it ever go back? I don't know. I don't know, but it's it's not a laughable matter, but sometimes you're just going to laugh at this craziness. Crazy. But thank you. Thank you for being on here, sister. You're welcome. All righty. Uh, let's say hello to Brother Jerry. Shalom, Brother Jerry. How you doing? Praise Jehovah. Glory to Yeshua Messiah. Sabbath love and peace to everyone. Uh, praise be his name. Hallelujah. I'm doing very well. Blessed and highly favored. Um, I want to praise Jehovah and I want to praise, I want to praise Jehovah and, and give thanks to Jehovah and, uh, my, uh, my legal problems are, 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 are completely sorted, completely taken care of. So praise Yah. Praise well, Yah. Great, hallelujah. 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 I, uh, I won't get into specifics, but uh, I, just, I just thank the Almighty and the way he works. And he's, he's amazing. And uh, I have a lot of work to do myself. And uh, I'm, I'm praying about uh, a lot of things about where to go and because I'll be honest with you, I am fed up with Massachusetts and the, the stuff that they're pushing for laws around here. I mean, I, I, I hear what's going on in other parts of the country and other parts of the world, but I mean, I love this. I love this area. I love this town. I grew up here. There's a lot of history here 
and I've got a you know, but I've just I've just had it. I've had it. So uh, I don't I don't know I don't know where I'll end up, but uh, I'm praying for guidance on on what to what to choose. But I will say I will say this to you, Paul. Even though it's really really hot, uh, Florida is definitely in the running. <laughs> Hey, it's just as hot in uh, in in where you are in the summertime as it is here. That's true, but when the sun goes down and if it's not humid, it cools off quickly. Which that that I'm grateful for. <laughs> like I haven't had my AC on in three weeks. It's been perfect. It's been like 75, 75 degrees during the day and like sixty five at night. It's been absolutely perfect. So. Praise you. I was just I'm sleeping with the windows open and, and no AC, and that's perfect. I love that. But anyway, praise his holy name. And everyone, everyone, pray to him. Ask him for guidance. Ask him for help. And listen to what he tells you. And obey his Torah. And tell other people to keep the Torah. I, I was ministering last week to... Uh, to a woman who is, uh, she's actually Algerian. Well, her parents are from Algeria, but she's French. She was born in France. And I uh, ministered to her for about two hours. And she was fascinated. She was fascinated with uh, every, all the stuff I was telling her, you know, the, the Torah and, and Yeshua. And she had never heard the, the, the name Yeshua. I mean, Yeshua is in the, is in the Quran, but they, they call him uh, Isa. And uh, they don't say Messiah. Their word for Messiah is messy. But they, she understood. She understood everything that I was saying. She was very fascinated and very eager to hear about it. So, praise you, planting seeds, planting seeds, and who knows where that'll go? Where that's, you know, if if, if that seed blossoms and, and grows, you know, she uh, she might leave Islam and uh, and embrace the Torah. Who knows? We'll see. But anyway, praise His name and and, and speak the gospel, preach the kingdom. Everyone, to, to, to everywhere you go, to every living creature. Praise God, my. Not, yeah, a, a lot of people aren't going to be receptive to it. I, there was, I saw. Uh, well, I don't think she was homeless, but I saw a woman with a sign uh, out, outside. I was stopped at a red light, and uh, you know, I mean, I didn't have cash. I, I had a, I had one dollar on me, so I gave her. I said, you know, this, this is what I have, and I gave her a dollar. She was a young woman too, probably in her, I don't know, late twenties, early thirties. And I gave her the dollar, and she said, thank you. And I said, Yeshua loves you. And she gave me the strangest look. <laughs> but then the light turned green, and I was gone. But I told her, Yeshua loves her. And I should have said Yeshua died for you, but I don't know. The, the, the Ruach just put that on me to say Yeshua loves you. Anyway, hallelujah. Yeah, I was going to say my, my blessed wife uh, uh, was uh, into Islam and a Muslim, and uh, now she's totally into Hebraic roots and uh it can happen. The foundation, y'all put creation all around us. And the enemy tries to confuse us with this world. But, you know, we need people like you, Jerry, to go and talk to those people. So praise y'all. Amen. Hallelujah. Well, thank y'all for, for giving me the strength and the words to speak. Hallelujah. Yes, yes. So let's uh, say hello to everyone else who's here. Uh, Sister Carlene Paul is on. Uh, I don't know if you want to say hello, sister, or you just want to, you're just listening this time. And sister Carlene, did you want to say hello or just listening? Okay. Uh, let's say hello to uh, Shaul Yisrael. Shalom, brother Shaul. Shalom, family. As I said before, I'm continuing to pray for your brother. Um, as always, I post my information in the chat. So... Let Yahweh lead you as he see fit. Um, I'm still rejoicing, praising Yahweh for the many benefits he has given me for bringing me through another week. Uh, thank you for this Shabbat gathering, Brother, brother Paul. Y'all continue to pray for your brother. Pray for one another. Continue to walk in the faith of Yeshua. Love all you all. Right, brother. Thank you for being here and... Uh... And uh, I'm looking in the side chat, brother. I don't see your your. Um, um, there's a first post up. There we go. Okay. Okay. All right. Anyone in uh, Roxboro, North Carolina? We have this brother there who's homeless. 
if anyone can help him. Uh, uh, yeah, Brother Shaul, email me via my website, so I have your contact information. Okay. My book is a hardback. I need to have Okay. Some. Sister Sandra, your mic is on. Shalom. Sandra. <laughs> Shalom. So. Okay. Uh, let's say hello to uh, Brother Charles. Shalom, Brother Charles. How you doing? You're unmuted, brother. I'm blessed and highly favored there, Paul. Charles, Yeshua died for you, brother. He died for you too, Paul. That's the same. Told Christine when he she said a lie that I know came from Satan. She said that Yeshua hates her. I said, if that's true, why did he die for you? Yeah. Well, how was your week, brother? Oh, it was just had one day of work this week because of school being out. And, uh, but <clears throat> Yahavah's going to supply. Absolutely, and, brother. Absolutely. Well, we keep you and your family lifted up in prayer, Charles, okay? Yeah, and they need prayer about the van because it started doing some stuff and they said if it does the stuff that it was doing that type of engine in it would usually meant that the heads needed to be replaced and that's about four grand so it it's Yahavah's van he per he led somebody to purchase it for me it's got to be him that's going to pay for it or change things with it so or even to lead somebody to purchase another one for me it's not something i need to worry about yeah yeah i will answer the call yep oh yeah yeah hold on hey christine you want to say something to Paul? If you do, you better get down here. Hey, Paul, the turtle's yeah, name is Buddy. The turtle's name is Buddy, so you don't Thank have to you. ask. Thank you. Because I can't bring it up. I can't bring the iPad up there. All right, uh, uh, Charles, we'll be here all night. You can get her later. We'll be here all night, okay? Charles, I'm going to say hello to uh, somebody else, but uh, if she comes down, we'll say hello, okay? Yeah, I'll raise my hand if she comes down. Okay, brother. Thank you. Thank you. All right, uh, brother uh, Aaron, shalom. How are you, brother? Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm doing well. How are you, brother? Doing better than ever. I'm not really <laughs> better than I deserve, but better than ever. Better than ever. That's good. Good. Yeah, um, you in there, man. You stay strong, Aaron. Yeah, always. And um, you too. I hope that we can all, you know, his command is for us to persevere to the end. I, I remember reading that um, my command is to, for you to persevere. Keep my, In Revelations, he really, um, he extends deeper into like the church life and Revelations and his letters to the churches. Like, uh in reading that there's a lot of good really good words in um his letters to like different churches and things but especially laodicea where he says on the outside you're beautiful and rich but inside you're miserable naked and poor and hungry and he said i try you to i counsel you to buy gold for me or um and he tests our heart um says in the proverbs the lord tests the heart so like job our hearts can be put on a test. It's like a furnace, a fire sometimes, but will your heart come out as gold or not? And um, that can only be by him in his way. But, um, by love, loving your neighbor, loving him. And well, his blood was saved, but if you don't have no love in you for your neighbor or anything, your heart's not going to be gold, I, I think. I don't know. But 
anyways, I love you guys and um, keep the faith, faith over fear. Faith is the opposite of fear. So remember that faith is the opposite of fear. I love you. Praise y'all, brother. Love. Praise y'all. Thank Let's you. go ahead and say hello in Chicago to Brother Tom. Shalom, Brother Tom. We're outside of Chicago. Hey. Shabbat shalom, man. How was your week? Sorry to, sorry to disturb your Sabbath. <laughs> no, everything's good, man. It's just been a crazy uh, day, a crazy week. Uh, and I'm just grateful for the Sabbath. It's been really busy. I've been a lot of overtime, and uh, but I, I made it. I'm here. We had late dinner, and everything's good. Um. I was at. I was going to expound off of every last week. We had a topic about um, sometimes it's better to uh, for a life if you have to go for, to save a life. Sometimes you might have to lie for somebody or something like that. Oh, so, two weeks ago, you weren't here last. Oh, week, that's right, right, two weeks ago. Sorry about that, brother. Anyway, last week I went to uh, our assembly with the camper for the feast, and we got there Friday night, which was great. We had a praise night. It was really nice. Uh, had a wonderful Sabbath at the assembly with the children and the families and everybody gathering and feasting. And then um, uh, the feast was uh, Shavuot on uh, Sunday. Uh, my father-in-law got sick at three o'clock in the morning. So we, uh, the family wasn't able to help. So we, uh, cause sometimes they just don't help. So we had to uh, camp, leave the camp and go to my father-in-law when we actually left our children behind because we had a, um, a wonderful couple that was going to take them home because we're a couple hours away. So they got to enjoy the feast, my children, but uh, I couldn't stay at the assembly and enjoy the feast like I wanted to because my father-in-law uh, took ill and, uh, you know, he's 92 and he, he just needs uh, comfort a lot. So we, me and my wife ended up going over there and uh, making sure that he, because he, he couldn't breathe, he wasn't having a heart attack. We took his um, vitals and, um, See if he had a fever. And we also fed him. We made him some stew. And uh, for the week, the whole week, we prepared something for the whole week for him. And uh, I think that that's important because, uh, you know, when you look at the commandments, honor thy father and mother, we have to understand that, you know, because of Yahweh creating my father-in-law and putting him together with my mother-in-law, my wife was, was created, was born through them. And then I got to be with my wife now because Yahweh brought her to me. And then I have wonderful children. So it's, there's so much to be said about uh, the honor of my father, father-in-law, as you will, to, to do what we could to comfort him. And, uh, you know, I, we still uh, entertain the feast, me and my wife, in the car and at the house. And we did the best we could to read the commandments. But I think that, you know, spending time at the feast and overlooking my father-in-law, if he were to have died, I think Yahweh would have been upset if we weren't there to comfort him, if that makes any sense. So I just wanted to share that with everybody. But I, I'm really grateful for Yahweh and for all his feast days and for everything. I'm really happy for the Sabbath, which is really the beginning of a feast, um, according to his word. So I'm really grateful. I really love my family and I love all you guys. And I just want to share that with you because I think it's really important. So praise Yah, praise Yah. Well, thank you, brother, for being here. We missed you last week and uh, good to have you back. Yeah, I missed you guys too, man. Good to be here. All right, did you get my video I sent you? I did up with uh. Yeah, we we watched it with the children and uh, you and uh, I forget her name. Uh, um, yes, you guys did a wonderful uh, job, man. It was really good. Uh, so such compassion for uh, what you guys are talking about with the children and the walks and and everything according to the father. I really think it's important, and uh, I think it was a good message, brother. Thank you. For those of you that don't know, I put a message up last week. I'd been interviewed with a lady who's doing a, it's a teenage leadership conference that they're going to have here in South Florida next month. Andrea was on here a couple of weeks ago talking about it. And children today are being so misled. Even the youth in churches today, a lot of them aren't being taught or trained the right way. And this conference really makes a difference in people's lives. And I've seen people go through it. And so uh, my children go this year and brother Tom's going to have some children going. So it's going to be a blessed time. And, uh, and yeah, so if you, if you didn't see that, or if you have children, I'm telling you, send them to this place, you know, it's uh, I guess my stamp of approval. So. Yes. We're, we're going to be, uh, it looks like we're going to be staying near Deerfield uh, beach. Okay, well, I could decide that because it's right in the middle. 
Yeah, somewhere in the middle. That way we're, we can, you know, hit Nick on the fly and then be by you for Sabbath and whenever we get together. I think it should be a wonderful time. Uh, absolutely, in Florida. absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, good, good job, good job. And, uh, well, wonderful, wonderful. Are you staying, uh, you're not taking the RV down? No, we decided to stay at a, a beach house, like a block away from the beach, so. Very uh, nice, very yes, nice. Yes, beautiful yes. beach, beautiful beach. Yes. Good, good. But All the right. Car, yeah. Huh? Yeah. Well, we're definitely going to get together at Shabbat. So, yep. yeah, willing. Yeah, willing. <laughs> yes, yeah, willing because, uh, you know, yes, all the things uh, we'll are going see what on. Happens. A lot yeah. of stuff going on. <laughs> yes. So, praise God, <laughs> everybody. Hey, the mangoes are coming in. <laughs> oh, the mangoes. The mangoes. Oh, there's so many mangoes. I was just, oh, the mangoes. <laughs> I can't even express to everybody how much fruit we have, not just the mangoes. Uh, jackfruit. Jackfruit is everywhere. If you follow my fruit tree channel, Fruitful Trees, wow, wow. And another great thing, well, Charles, I think Christine is watching. I, I, remind me, Tom, I want to tell everybody about a testimonial that I had last night, but uh, yep. go ahead, uh, Charles. Is Christine there to say hello? Yep, she's here. Okay. Uh, Shabbat Shalom, Christina. Shabbat Shalom. I hope you're doing well out there. It's, thanks for coming to say hello. Okay, you have a great week. Uh -huh. okay. Hi. I think she's a little tired right now, Paul. Oh, okay. Well, let her get some rest. Have a great week and shalom. Yeah, okay. You too, Paul. Okay. All right. So I was going to share everybody. Last night, uh, I have a health channel. And I want to uh, reach people. And through my health teachings, I reach a lot of new agers. And I had got an opportunity yesterday to interview a new ager. And as I was going to interview him, you know, he was talking about all his new age stuff. And I was trying to waiting and waiting and waiting to get the gospel in there. So I, I was able to do so. So I'll be posting that video to my website this coming week. Uh, and, and there's a, I think I mentioned to you all, there's a, a, a new age feminist who uh, doesn't like my post. Uh, and so I said, well, well, what do you have wrong with my post? And I know the issue is she doesn't believe in the word of our creator, but I invited her on the show on this channel. So I'm going to be talking to her soon, hopefully. Uh, just talking to people. I love this fellowship, folks. I love being here, but you know, if we're agreeing with each other, we can encourage each other, but we're not learning. I want to go reach we those people a, that need to hear. Can somebody say we something? We found a witch. May we burn her? Uh, oh, there's somebody. And it's burn called, the oh. witch. No, I'm just playing. Don't burn the witch. No. I don't know what you guys are saying. Okay. Okay. Anyway. So yeah, so that was uh, last night. So uh, yeah, so uh, <clears throat> praise yeah, praise yeah. Let's go on and say hello to uh, who else is here joining us. Uh, we have uh, praise Yahweh. Do you want to get on and say anything? Okay, username praise Yahweh. Vicky, shalom, Vicky. How are you? Shalom from the beautiful mountains of eastern Tennessee. Oh, Tennessee is a beautiful place. Tennessee is a beautiful place. Eastern Tennessee is beautiful. So shalom to you. How are you? And have you been on the show before? I have not. Oh, well, have you seen the show before? Um, I don't think I have. Well, I'm not on face. I'm not on Facebook. Okay, well, very, thank you. very much. Thank you I for joining us tonight. Me. What made you decide to see us tonight? Melissa invited me. Oh, thank you, Melissa. All right, great, great. Well, uh, we are on YouTube. We're, on, uh, we're not on Facebook here tonight, but we're on YouTube and also doing this here on Zoom. What's and the name of your channel on YouTube? Torah Life Ministries. Oh, okay, all right. Torah Life Ministries. Yes. I might subscribe to that from years oh. ago. Has it has it been there for years? Yeah, it's been up quite a while. I'll probably subscribe to it. Yes. 
Well, welcome to finally being here, and uh, I hope you're enjoying the fellowship. There's a lot of comments on the side chat on YouTube, but on the side chat, there's a few comments here on, on the Zoom chat. But uh, we come here every Friday night just to offer fellowship oh, okay. to each other, and as we have a blessed time. Yeah, I was looking at the phone number. I recognize the phone the phone number from Shaul uh -huh. because I am from um, North Carolina, and that's the area code. But I looked up the town and where he said he was in Roxborough, and that is like north of Durham. Yes, which is like center state, sort of basically right above, right not too far from the capital. Yes, ma'am. About thirty minutes from Durham and hour and a half from Raleigh. Depends on how you drive. Right. Well, I drive regular, so it, it's from where I'm from. It's uh, about an hour and a half for to the VA, right across from Duke. Yeah. Right. So that's about it. But yeah, I just recognized that you were there. Well, and I don't have PayPal, or I would send you some. A little money but i don't even i don't have paypal so and i don't have cash app so well do you sing nikki vicky i do not sing well why not no <laughs> i don't just, know just, my mother was a singer yes well uh we could all sing to yah everybody could sing a song to yah from our heart that he would just bless oh. us hallelujah right praise yah Crazy. So uh, do you, uh, are you a Christian? Do you keep the Torah? What, what's your story? Um, I keep Torah. Um, I, I don't really put, it's difficult to put a label on myself, really. Um, I would say I'm a biblicist if you had to pin me down to a, a label. And you have local fellowship out there in Tennessee? There's actually in this community there, well, close nearby, there is, there are, you know, several tour observant people. They're a little like, I don't know how to explain it. Um, a little bit, um, I guess you'd call it, um, Talmudic, more more Talmudic, I think, a little bit. They're Messianic, but a little more, uh, you know, they use a lot of um, Talmudic ideology and so, but, but, there are, but they are, um, there are, you know, s several people here. And a lot of people, I think, have moved to this area, um, tour observant people. That have moved up here, but there's not like a, there are some house congregations, but not like a, you know, a, a meeting place where everyone gathers. So, mm -hmm. okay, well, that's the best way I know to describe it. It's very difficult for me. I hate it when people ask me that question because I never know how to answer. It's well, a tough it, one. It's a tough for me to answer that question. Okay, well, uh, Yeshua died for us. Hallelujah. Yes. Hallelujah for that, for sure. Well, thank you for being here tonight. And you're welcome to join us any Friday night here. Okay. Thank you so much. Great, great. Yeah, I put something in my heart just now as uh, we were talking to uh, this sister that I want to bring up. Also, we're on Zoom. I'll post the Zoom link again. But uh, we have a brother here. Uh, uh, brother Shaul Yisrael. Uh, I know him from the hangout. I don't know him beyond the hangout, but we know he's a brother that's struggling here. Uh, this, I try to find him local help. That's why hopefully somebody is watching in that local area. Uh, you know, it's this, I don't know the exact struggle, the reasons of the struggle, but he's a brother and he's struggling. So what I'm going to do here is uh, in the super chat, you know, sometimes Google gets the money of Super Chat and they take some of the money, but but uh, people already gave thirteen dollars and fifty three cents here tonight to the ministry. So I thank you all for that. Uh, Shalom, Sister Tabitha, and and uh, and everyone else that's joining us. Shalom. Uh, I think uh, uh, Brother Israel, uh, 
Sharon Israel, where Roxbury, North Carolina, you said? Yes, sir. Roxborough. Yeah. Uh, Sister Tabitha, are you near Roxborough, North Carolina? I think I know you're somewhere there, if, if you're near there. But what I want to do and what y'all put in my heart just now is everybody for the next, and it's not the full amount, but for the next hour that we're on, if anyone gives a super chat, I'm not even going to think about what Google's taking. If anyone gives a super chat, I'm going to send that money to Sharom Israel. So this isn't, you know, the, the, the $13 you already sent, the $13 you already sent, I'll keep that for the ministry because I know you sent that for the ministry, even though Google gets some of it, but there's 101 people on right now. If you all send $1, I don't care what Google's not going to take out. I'm going to send it all to him, his brother. And hopefully he use it wisely because I don't, I'm not local, so I don't have the capability of monitoring him locally. Uh, and, and, but yeah, so send, send that over and, uh, just, it's, it's, it's that simple. You just go to the bottom and you just hit send on the super chat and it's okay on Shabbat to help a brother out. So, uh, so I, I want to put that out there and, uh, that's what we need to do. We are a community and this brother's been coming here. He doesn't pop up once. This brother has been here every week, every week for the last couple of months, you know, and he's struggling and he's not hiding it. So, uh, so, uh, you know, I'm putting that out there now. Uh, yes. Uh, brother Shaul, where's, uh, Burlington? Is that near you? Um, Burlington about like maybe mm, same thing between Raleigh and Roxborough. An hour and a half. Hour and a half. Okay. You know how one drives? Yeah. There's a sister in, uh, sister Tabitha who's in Burlington and, uh, yeah, so I was just inquiring how close or far you were from her, but uh, I put my this, email in the chat as well, along with my number. Okay, so, can I give your email and number out to people that contact? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Feel free. Okay. Okay. Yes, sir. And yeah, this. Uh, yeah. So I, I got the number. I don't have your email. Um, um it's in there. Um, minister for yai gmail dot com. Let's see here. See. Oh, there it is. Okay, let me write that down. How do you do the super chat? I'm in Zoom. I'm not on YouTube. It's a, yeah, it's on YouTube. Use it. It's on YouTube. Do I have to go to the YouTube channel to do that? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah. Do I need to leave here to do that? No, you don't. You could no. stay here. You could stay okay. here. But yeah, uh, let's lift this brother up, everybody, and keep him in prayer. That's that's what he really needs, prayer. Uh, but uh, you know, keep him in prayer. And again, you know, uh, I don't know this brother on a personal level, but I do know he's here every week fellowshipping, and he's struggling, and he's our brother, and he needs help. And uh, and so let's let's help him. And and like I said, let's pray that Yah brings somebody locally that can help him. Uh, and somebody, if you have the time to get to know this brother more on a personal level and find out what his struggles might be and, and how maybe we can help, uh, or you can help him, uh, you know, we're a body here and we, we can't all do everything for everyone, but somebody here can do something for someone. So however we can, let's, let's do that. And uh, praise you and thank you for those those offerings here that you're sending in or not those offerings though the help for this brother and as uh, you know as soon as we get off here tonight i'm going to go ahead and uh forward that over to him and you know it's it's i'm going to send it as a friend brother show you israel so the paypal doesn't take out any of the fees uh but you know so just praise you praise you and let's keep those in need in prayer because uh I come home, I have a roof over my head and, uh, it, it, you know, it's just, there are people that don't. So, so yes. Just so, for, the, for the record, Paul, um, just, you know, so people know, and so, you know, um, when you send a super chat through YouTube, cause Google owns YouTube, Google takes 30% of yeah, yeah. whatever. I knew it was some amount, but, but. Uh, right now, tonight, I don't care. I'm going to make up the difference. So if I'm going to take the difference. That's going to be for me. So if uh, if we get $100, I'm going to send $100. I'm not, the $30 that they took, that, that's on, uh, 
that'll be from uh <laughs> that's my that's for me so it's, i don't want to deal with confusing people with different ways to give and sending this and that just make it easy thank you brother jerry for telling us that but just make it easy just post that here and anyone can contact me through my website if you want his personal information and you want to contact him personally and uh, talk to him or bless him, you know, you can do that, okay? Uh, but praise Yah, praise Yah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, thank you. Now, if you all give a $1,000, that's 300 out of my pocket, so that's no, <laughs> but that's the praise Yah, praise Yah, the more the better, so hallelujah. And 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 I, brother, I, I, I apologize we didn't do this sooner, uh, but we're not going to do be able to do it every week either. But we need to do it, and we're doing it now. So praise you everybody. It's all good. It's all good. Um, no, no need to apologize. As yeah. Yahweh will lead you. As Yahweh will lead you, follow His Spirit. Yes, yes. Well, thank you for being uh being diligent of being here, and we just pray that y'all get you on your feet. And if uh, I don't know, like if you have people to talk to or not talk to, uh. But, you know, there's brothers out there that can contact you or you can contact them and talk to them on a personal level uh, that are willing to take the time to speak to if you need help making some decisions and so on. OK, yes, sir. Um, my information is in the chat, my number and my Got email. It. Got it. Do you want me to give it out publicly or do you just want me to see if people uh, give it out publicly? Give it out publicly. Um, okay. I'm fully transparent. Give it out publicly. Yeah. Now, again, I'm going to warn everybody. I don't know. Brother Shalom Israel on a personal level. I'm just wanting it, telling everybody, but I but I feel you know that this is a good brother, and uh, you know if you want to reach out to him and just talk to him and get to know him, I'll post his number there. All right. So I uh, thank you. Keep those uh, super chats coming in for this brother. All right. Uh, does anyone have a, a, a song they want to sing or anything they want to share? Tom, do we have any questions? I, I, no questions yet, but I, I do want to share something uh, in response to what you said earlier. And I'll, and I'll back it up with uh, um, some scripture, if you, if you got a minute. Please go ahead. You were saying something about reaching the New Agers uh, and you have a conversation with a New Ager. And, um, and, and unlike talking to each other here on this show, reaching people at a different level which I believe is uh, something important to understand. And Yeshua actually spoke it. So I'll read uh, out of Matthew uh, chapter five, uh, verse 43 to the end, which is to 48. And um, it's really important because, uh, you know, the, the reward from reaching a, a, me and you, I mean, there's really no reward. We, we love each other already and we believe in Yahweh and we're following the path. So that's good. But, Going to somebody who actually hates us or follows a different path or whatever, the reward is more important that way through, through Yahweh because uh, we're reaching somebody who doesn't understand or doesn't have uh, the, the, the gift of salvation, which is Yeshua yet. So I think what you're saying is very important. So I'll read that. Matthew 5, uh, verse 43. Yeshua said, you have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. Uh, let me just touch base on that real fast. That was just, he was saying you have heard, but really he never said it. If you go back to Leviticus 19, 18, it actually says in here, Yeshua is also recording, you shall not take vengeance nor bear any grudge against the sons of your people, but you shall love your neighbor as yourself. I am Yahweh. So all the way back in the Torah, before Yeshua was, was born and, and spoke, he already wrote that in the, in the, in the scripture. So for us to understand, it's all about, loving everybody, even your enemy. So anyway, but I say to you, uh, in verse 44, but I say to you, love your enemies, bless those cursing you, do well to those hating you, and pray for those who take you by force and persecute you, so that you may become the sons of your Father in heaven, because he causes the sun to rise on the evil and the good and sends rain on the just and unjust. For if you love those loving you, what reward do you have? Do not even the tax collectors do the same? And if you only greet your brothers, what exceptional thing do you do? Do not the tax collectors do so? Therefore, you become perfect or complete, even as your Father in heaven is perfect. 
So what he's saying there, when you go to the other people, when they're even persecuting you, you still spend them, you still give them the gospel, the good news of Yeshua. That's the reward. I mean, there, there's really no reward between me and you, brother, because we, we edify each other. Yeah, we strengthen each other to sharpen the sword, to go out into the world to speak to the people that actually need the hope. And that's what we're our job, our commission is to give the people the hope. So what you said is so important. I just want to put the perspective of what Yeshua was saying to us. You know what I'm saying, brother? It's really powerful to speak to people that hate Yeshua. <laughs> yes. It really is. It really is. Because, uh, I mean, I love the fellowship. I love the fellowship. When there's people coming here on Shabbat or when I'm hanging out with people that love Yeshua, even though we, I don't always love it because sometimes we get in agreement, disagreements about the shape of the planet and all this other garbage. But I love uh, the fellowship. However, to be able to speak and not even necessarily about Yeshua, to somebody who hates Yeshua on, on, on a level and finding a connection with them, because one day that door is going to open. One day that opportunity is going to be there. And, and, and I believe Yahweh puts these people in our lives for a reason. And I remember long before I even knew who Yeshua was, I was going through a tough time in my young life. I was a young man, very young. And I was in a Chinese restaurant. That's how young I was. <laughs> and uh, I was having a tough time. And somebody said, I don't know you. I don't know anything about you. But God told me to give you this. And the guy handed me his Bible. And I wasn't wise enough at that time to even open it up. You know, but, you know, but look where I am today. And I know that I had an impact because I still remember it now. Hallelujah. So, uh, you know, so praise Yah, praise Yah. So we got some hands that are raised here. And so uh, Brother Max and then Brother Aaron. Go ahead, Brother Max. Um, I just wondered if, if um, Tom may have missed it. There was just a brief touch on um, how to sort of, how do we view things where what might be considered uh, Jewish in, in our assemblies, like the wearing of the tzitzit, the wearing of a, a talit, or even the kippah, as, as far as that goes. Um, and it does, it's a good question because sometimes people do get quite excited about the whole Hebrew roots and, and jump in quite deeply. Should we make it an issue or not? I missed that question. Thanks a lot, Max. Oh, so what was the question, Max? Uh, basically, uh, in, a, in, a, in a group or assembly of believers, do we do we make it a big deal about people wearing a kippah, even if they're not like Jewish, um, the talit and the tzitzit and things like that? I mean, I, I sort of threw in my two cents worth about the kippah, but uh, you could want to might want to touch on the on the tzitzit in particular. Well, uh, do, yeah. go ahead. Would you like to? Go ahead, Max. Uh, oh, like who me? Uh, the, well, the only thing, the only issue I raise is that is that the book of Paul talks about um, men praying or prophesying with their head covered. That was the only point I had about the kippah. Um, there's some tradition that uh, that might be involved in it, that it was from Babylonian, but I don't want to get into that. Um, the tzitzit, of course, is, is commanded in Scripture that we are to wear the tzitzit as a reminder that we do keep the commandments, and the talit is simply just a prayer shawl, so I don't see any issue with that. And I don't think we should make too many issues about um, people wanting to to do things for the Father, if they feel that it, it brings them closer in their worship to Him. That's just my sort of thoughts on it. I think a more of a concern should be the immodesty and the, the way people are truly dressing according to the world than people trying to mimic how they dress during biblical times. Uh, well, you know, but, you know, but, I mean, I hear what you're saying about the kippah and, and the zizit and the pressure, but if you took a list of like, Things that we should be concerned about or looking at, especially when going to a congregation. I mean, these things wouldn't be at the top of the list, and I, I think they shouldn't be. Um, they shouldn't be at the top of the list. And, you know, hopefully the message that's being preached is a good message and people are getting it, you know, and, uh, and not being distracted by, oh, look at that guy wearing that Jewish thing. I wonder if he's really Jewish or he just wants to look Jewish or something, something like that. I mean, I know people that aren't Jewish. They, they, they like to wear, you know, the Jewish look because it makes them feel close to Yahweh. 
you know, praise Yah okay. if that's it, you know. For some, it opens up tremendous doors of, 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 of ministering to others. People will come up to you and ask questions. I have rabbis come up to me, or at least people come up to me, why do you wear a blue string in your sazids? And, and it opens up doors. Uh, you know, my, my one good brother Will, you know, he wears a kippah all the time, pretty much. And, you know, it's, it's, for me, I get, I have a big thing with uh, outer appearance on people. That's, that's why immodesty just gets me so, gets me so bad, immodesty. And it just really, really irks me when somebody calls himself a believer, but they're, they're, they're dressing immodest. And, you know, it's amazing because I came so far away from this. Not by the way, not only on a whole nother, not only was uh, did I speak to the new age health person, am I going to speak to this feminist new age person? But my cousin is an atheist, and I've been talking to him about about the Bible. He said, "Oh, I got a bunch of questions that are puzzling me and all this other stuff." And the other day, he asked me a question about. First, he asked me why all different accounts of the gospel are different. When the, in Yeshua's last words, you know, and uh, that's one I haven't encountered before that question, but I was like, oh, okay. And I gave him a good explanation of that. And then he came back with, uh, but I don't know, about something insignificant. And I said, Yeshua raised from the dead and you're asking these insignificant questions. Why don't you look at the big picture? <laughs> you know, and it's just so, I got a Jehovah Witness. I got an atheist. I got a, a new age health person who agrees with my health stuff, just new age. And then I have a, a, a feminist uh, new ager. And then I have my neighbor who, who I, I, I speak to all the time and he's not a believer and he's into <clears throat> everything that the Democrats and everything's into and all this stuff. So we don't necessarily agree on everything, but there's, opportunities to minister to others out there. Well, we have a lot of hands up right now, a lot of hands up. So we're gonna go uh, Brother Tom, Jerry, Aaron, and Charles. Okay, uh, uh, go ahead. Uh, for that question or any questions like this one, I, I, I tend to break down tradition versus what the Bible says. So like when you mentioned the Zit seats, that was a commandment by Yahweh in, in, num in uh, Numbers actually, it was a commandment for the children of Israel to wear the Zit seats as a reminder to keep the commandments. So it's not a Jewish thing at all. It's for the people of Yahweh, the Israelites, as you will. Um, as far as covering the head, yeah, there's a commandment there that says that if you're going to pray, you shouldn't keep your head covered. You know, that's that's in the Bible. That's, you know, so you, you just got to kind of separate the Jewish tradition versus what the Israelites would have done, you know, because, you know, obviously Jewish people come from the tribe of Judah, you know, where Moses was a Levite. So he would have wore the Zit seats as a Levite, you know, and that's just what I, what I gather. So I try to break it down like that to answer that question correctly. Okay. Uh, go ahead, brother, uh, uh, Aaron. I'm unmuted now. Um, so what I wanted to say about all this is that I think behind all of it is your intention and God knows our intentions. Um, he sees inside of us. We live in a world of lies where we can lie to anybody and make them think that we're anything or not if we want to. And that's, that's how this world acts. I mean, a lot of people are plastic and fake. We all, that's not anyone who wasn't born yesterday knows that. But I'm just saying, you know, so our intentions behind it, God knows. He sees it. We can't lie to him. He sees every little thing. So if, if we're doing it for him and we're convinced by faith that we're doing it um, and, and it's righteous and it's not in an unrighteous, if we separate the profane from the clean in our heads and, and we weigh this out and discern it and say, we're doing this for a good intention, a fair intention, I think it's okay. Like Yeshua said, you wear long phylacteries to the Pharisees so he pointed out how they wear them for beauty instead of for what it was meant for instead. And I think that where it deviates is where we got to be careful. If we're walking in that, that deviated 
wrong way or we're walking in the actual way it's supposed to be. But um, after that, I wanted to say that um, <laughs> concerning whenever he said um, something, something a brother was saying, but anyways, he said, even the wicked give, give good gifts to their children. Even the wicked give good gifts to their children. So um, how much more do you think the Father in heaven will give to you, to those who ask? So I think that's how it goes. Don't quote me on that. But anyways, so in life, love is stronger than death because love, death is the most strongest impulse of your body if you're scared of death. Or that, In Hebrews, it says that's the power of the devil. But in love, you can want to give good gifts to your children because they're your children, obviously. And, you know, we can be, we can have bonds and connections in our heart tied to other hearts. And we can love them, but we're supposed to love even our neighbor as ourselves. And we're supposed to love even our enemies. And if, like the Good Samaritan, that, that man was beat up and broken. And there were there were religious rabbis walking by, Pharisees, scholars walking by him. They didn't care at all. I just walked by him. And this dead man's laying there. I mean, half dead, and no one cares. And they're they're supposed to be Jews, born inwardly. God is love, you know. And how can you just let someone lay there and die? That's not love. If that's what they call love, then they're blind. So I'm just saying, but the good samaritan story gives weight to that whole thing is that if you walk you should have empathy for somebody you walk by and you should show compassion that's a fruit of the spirit so when adam and eve ate from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil the tree of the knowledge of good and evil that good and evil it became inside of them even god himself said they've become like one of us the lie was that um, that we wouldn't die. Yes, we will die. And that's why he, Satan deceived us because he doesn't care about us and he hates us and he wants us to die. So um, anyways, what I'm saying with all this is the tree of life, it becomes in you like the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. So the fruits of the spirit, um, there's 12 of them, like the tree of life has 12 fruits on it, revelations. Um, nine of them are mentioned, Paul, um, Paul mentions the apostle Paul, compassion, self-control, and so on and so forth. Um, you know, all things in love, patience, endurance, long suffering, um, you know, those are fruits of the spirit. And if we're not bearing those, we need to analyze ourselves. And it, all, it says he required, he wants mercy and not sacrifice. Um, it's written so he cares about he cares about things in the heart versus just the external things that don't even matter he what's really important is the heart as he sees the heart it says men see the face humans do but god looks at the heart and god doesn't look like men god doesn't look at us as men do you know yeah so Anyways, I just felt like I wanted to share that. And I love all you guys with all my heart. And I hope that your hearts are staying strong in these days. The world's going to go crazy. The world's going to fall apart and go crazy. Everyone's going to fall away. you got to stay strong on your faith and know that this world is made of lies. So I just wanted to say that. Uh, if anyone, uh, Brother Aaron's in California. Somebody's asking in a side chat. Uh, yeah. Do you have fellowship out there, Aaron? Is there any local congregations? Uh, yeah, I, I actually go church to church to church. I don't care what doctrine they they teach or anything. I'm gonna if I got I worship in spirit and truth, and that's it. You know, it says the Father desires those to worship in spirit and in truth. I'm not a denomination or anything, so or I don't put a title or a label on it. I just walk in the truth and in the spirit of it. So I go somewhere and I'll teach them or, or tell them what I know and I'll take the good from them and leave the bad, or whatever they give me. But I'll try to, you know, try to plant seeds and help lead them further if I can. But I'll still go there and fellowship with them and discern those who are whose hearts are really aligned with the truth and who's not, you know. But yes, I visit a lot of places. 
Sure. Okay. Thanks, brother. Uh, brother Charles has his hand up. Brother Charles, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. <clears throat> right now, I forgot what I wanted to say. <laughs> okay. Okay. Well, we're here when you remember. Okay. So. Uh, um, I, I do. Um, uh, right now, I'm reading in Jeremiah uh, in the Bible. And when the Spirit gives me things to to uh, put on, I put it on Facebook in the comment section. And um, I just uh, tell people that, <clears throat> like, one uh, I put down about how America is like, ancient Jerusalem in the way that they're going. And if they don't change, the same thing is gonna happen to America that happened to Jerusalem. He, he doesn't care about uh, rich people and other, th other people that are supposed to be worshiping him. And aren't he? What he cares about is you worshiping in him. Excuse me, in spirit and truth. <clears throat> and I said that they should um, before they uh, believe what the ministers are saying from their pulpits. They need to read their Bible too, and and. Uh, check things out with the Bible, not just believe the, what the people are saying from the pulpit. And uh, one guy wrote on Facebook that he, how uh, people should, uh, uh, for salvation and stuff, they need to read uh, a certain part in the no New Testament. I said, no, they need to read the whole Bible. Not just because every day, the Messiah and salvation and the thing that wicked people are doing is all throughout the whole Bible. Not just in the big, uh, beginning of the New Testament or the renewed covenant. And he said I was wrong, but I didn't say nothing back to him because I'm not going to argue. I I said what the Holy Spirit wanted me to say. And some people will uh, take heed and re start reading the whole Bible. Others won't. So that's up to them what they want to do. I'm not going to. I'm just going to be obedient, say what he wants me to say, and if people don't agree with it, that's fine. They, if what I'm saying is truth, I will be acceptable before him. If I, if I was doing like the old uh, prophets and telling them uh, peace and safety when the uh, Jeremiah and the other prophets were trying to tell them, no, it's not going to be peace and safety. He's going to, he'll deal with me if I'm not doing what is I'm supposed to do. So it's not for me to worry about. Yes. Amen. Amen. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Brother Charles, for sharing. Uh, we also had somebody join us named Boulder. Boulder. Shalom, you want to say hello? Hi, Paul. This is Boulder here. How are you? Very good, very good. Where are you calling from? Um, I live in a town called Fort Nelson, B.C. in uh, British Columbia, Canada. Okay, okay. So, well, uh, thanks for calling us today. Thanks for calling. Have you been on the show before? 
Uh, I haven't been. I've watched your videos. Um, I've been watching a lot of your health videos, your uh, videos of you eating fruit and it just making me drool. It looks so good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I was blessed to be with that. So yeah. What, uh, uh, what, what, why'd you call tonight? Did you want to share something? Um, I just wanted to uh, let you know how far, how far how people are watching you um that and it's really encouraging i don't watch i don't tune in every week but every once in a while i do and it's really really good for encouragement and uh because there's no one else <laughs> uh there's nobody else up here that i've found yet and well i mean sister nice pam time. sister pam do you know where she is she's up near you i think oh uh, you on uh uh, you're on the West Coast or the East Coast? Um, inland. Inland, yeah. Yeah, I think Sister Pam's around that area. I don't know. She's not on tonight, but uh, uh, somebody says uh, on the chat, wow, that's way north. <laughs> is it, is it, are you really far north? Uh, yep, it's about the, it's, it's the most northern part in B.C., um, we're really close to the Yukon, about six hours away from the Yukon. Wow. Wow. Interesting. Does it get cold up there in the winter? Oh, oh, man. Well, I, well, I tuned in once and you had someone on from Saskatchewan or something where it was minus 40. And it was the same weather that we had here. It was so cold last winter and it lasted so long that, oh, man, it was brutal. It was very brutal. But. Why do people put them, why, why, do, why do people put themselves through that? Um, yeah. I really don't know actually, because my dad did and his dad did and his dad's dad did and his dad's dad's mm -hmm. dad did. It's just what we've always done. I don't know. Yeah. You hear that, brother Tom? Minus 40. Don't complain about Chicago weather. <laughs> Man, I'm telling you. Wow. But I've been thinking about, you know, I actually put on Google Maps there the uh, earlier today how to see how many hours it would be if I drove to Arkansas. And uh, it's 4,000, about 4,000 kilometers. And I was thinking, wow, well, that'd only take me four days and uh, probably only take me another four days to get to Florida. So that'd be, that'd be wonderful weather down there. <laughs> oh, best weather in the country. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. Best fruit in the country, too, by the looks of it. That's what? Fruit. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. We don't, we don't people don't understand. Snacks. People don't understand. Like, I grew up in, in New York, in Brooklyn, and I didn't see a fruit growing on a tree until I was 20 years old. There was a grapefruit in San Francisco, California. And then I researched and I found a couple of fig trees in front of doctors' office in, in Brooklyn. And I realized that Brooklyn used to be fig groves. I was like, wow. But coming to like California and Florida is like literally the game Candyland in person. I mean, the trees have candy on them, fruits all over them. It's amazing. And like right now, I can literally go out tomorrow and find at least 20 or 30 trees within one mile of my house that have over 100 mangoes on them wow it's absolutely amazing wow. unbelievable it is it's really amazing and uh you know I, I just love it i just love it and uh yeah i mean up here in fort nelson we basically have if you really fight you can get apple trees and uh just a few other fruit trees like that but for the most part and nothing grows naturally other than your odd strawberry and you know wild strawberries and wild raspberries but you have to do all the work if you want something to grow here and it yeah, just doesn't yeah. happen naturally it you got to work to get it done man cool oh. yeah yeah well yeah, like the, last last week i just planted a garden here uh, and I've been looking at videos from down south, like, oh, they're already getting their first crop. And I'm just, oh, man, I just planted my garden. You know, I just got a few rows of potatoes and some onions and we're going to plant a few cabbages. And But, yeah, it's You could plant a lot of stuff. You could plant a lot of stuff where you're at. I mean, in the, in the summer. In the summer, absolutely, yeah. Absolutely. yeah. 
Well, yeah. thanks for uh, taking the time to put me on here. That's good. It's encouraging to listen to your to your fellowship group and to all your videos that you make. Very well, that, Thank you, brother, and thank you for being here, man. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thanks. See you later. Okay, and if I'll try to find Sister Pam where she is, but I think Sister Pam is living lives up there where you are. She's usually on the show here, but I think she does. Okay. Uh, but okay. It, Sometimes she comes on tonight, but let's see if she does. So we have two new people joining us, but first Charles' hand is up, and then we're going to say hello to uh, Brother Tom and Brother Jose. Brother Charles, your hand is up. <coughs> yeah, there's, don't forget there's people in New York and Philadelphia and everything. Yeah, if, if <clears throat> you don't tell them, they will think that you're – that. Um, Milk and eggs, they come from the cro corner grocery store. They don't know that you have to go to a farm to get them out of a chick for a cow. Yep, yep. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, brother. Thanks for reminding everyone. Yeah. All right, hold on, brother. Let's say hello to uh, uh, brother Tom, Tom Lasardo. Shalom, brother. Brother Tom usually joined us for a morning fellowship, uh, which I have a question before we say hello to Brother Tom. Uh, normally we meet at 10.30 a.m. Eastern time. Would it be better to meet later or earlier? I think early is too early for the West Coast because nobody wants to get up early on Shabbat, right? So would you rather me do my Bible study at like 1 o'clock in the afternoon? Would that be better for you all? Uh, so West Coast can get in as well. Uh, let me know what you all think. Brother Tom Shalom, how you doing, man? Hey, very good, Brother Paul. How's everything with you? Uh, good. I'm not used to seeing you at nighttime. I'm used to seeing you in the day. Uh, well, actually, it's um, I'm sitting on my front porch of my townhome, and it's uh, pretty nice. Haven't gotten bit by any mosquitoes yet, but probably when they, when they feel my, you know, feel my body heat of the start of the fight, but uh, I'm eyeing, I have uh, two mango trees like really close and um, I'm looking at those mangoes and one more week or a week and a half, boy, I'm, you know, they're my neighbors. I, I could probably have about like 30 or 40 mangoes just, just within about a week. And I'm waiting, waiting for fresh mangoes. Oh my gosh. Well, it's come on up here. Come on up here. The local farm has uh, 300 varieties of mangoes for sale every day. Oh, wow. Oh, um, let me ask Let me ask you a quick question. Have you uh, tried planting and growing sugarcane? Uh, I haven't tried planting it, and I don't want to plant it. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try. You know, uh, there's a nursery near me that sells the uh, cane shoots sprouted. I'm going to try to grow a couple yeah yeah no about. it'll grow fine here it'll grow fine yeah all yeah. right very good and um shabbat shalom to uh everyone from uh davie florida just 50 miles south of where paul lives so <laughs> down down the turnpike yes yes well let me know when you're in west palm brother okay very good blessings paul thank you thank you uh all right brother jose shalom how you doing man Shalom, shalom, everybody. Yes, we got to spend Shiva all together. Uh, yeah, really thank nice. you for inviting me. Thank, thank you for inviting me, brother Paul. Yes, yes, yes. How was your week? Uh, a lot of rain. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of rain, a lot of water. But what's good? You know, we cannot complain. We need water. Yeah, my trees love it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. They are, uh, but, but the Tom, I don't see the whole, uh, I, I just got here basically. I was working till eight, uh, just to take a, took a shower. Uh, Brother Tom, according to what I saw, uh, when are you gonna be here in Florida? Uh, Brother Tom will be here, uh, what, in about? Uh, the J July, uh, was it 14th, wait. Uh, I think it's July 14th to the 24th, I'll be there, right, right around that timeline, yep. Okay, I would like to meet you personally. Yeah, you. Oh, we're going to yeah, be around, we're, man. We're going to have a Sabbath meeting when he comes here. Yeah, we're, 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 gonna, we're definitely going to get together for Sabbath so, somewhere, somehow, right? Yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Let's go eat some. Let's go eat some jackfruit in, in brother. I'm gonna, I'm gonna raid Paul's uh, wonderful uh, tree forest. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I can't take it with me. I can eat when I'm in the forest, but I can't take it home. Right. That's what the scripture says, anyway. Yeah, uh, brother Jose, I got jackfruit right now. Please, I'm here. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, I picked one off the tree. If, if you if you follow me on Instagram, I I measured the weight of the, the jackfruit yesterday. Uh -huh. Thirty one pounds. Wow. Thirty one pound good. fruit. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got mean, one last week. Last week I got one that was twenty seven. I was like, that's impressive. Thirty one pounds. How many people will that feed? Uh, well, it depends who's eating it. If it's me, <laughs> it's mine, but, but uh, no, 31 pounds. I mean, you could feed a lot of people with a 31 pound jackfruit. Uh, mm -hmm. Maybe, uh, four or five people it, it fairly, you can give like a, a good chunk for everybody. Oh yeah. Even more. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. It tastes like bubble gum. Oh, it's delicious. Oh yeah. Oh, I love, please, please don't forget about me. Okay. <laughs> yeah i have actually there's nine on my tree and my neighbor's tree that i'm watching he has like 30 or 40 wow wow yeah. if Can you he, imagine uh, um, 30 pound fruits about 18 of them on one tree it's amazing how strong that tree is wow. tell your neighbor if you have an interest in salad i'll, I'll buy oh. some oh we are selling it i mean i'm selling it for him but not not on shabbat but i'm selling it yeah so contact me if you want to buy it because uh, there's a waiting list and I'll boost you up to the top of the list. Thumbs up. Yes. I love Jack Fruit. Jack and mangoes too. Mangoes. Oh, we got the best mangoes. Anyway, let me not <laughs> get too out of hand then. We can forget. We're going to sing praise now, praise songs. So Jose is going to sing a song for us. Go ahead, Jose. Oh. Uh... I never sing a song this time on uh, uh, your channel. Hopefully, uh, everybody follow me. Oh, God, oh, Father, Yahweh, Shavuot, and thank you for everything you provide for us. You are great, Father. You always provide as a oh, good Father. Thank you, Father. You are great, and you're merciful. You are glorious. And one day we'll be there in Hallelujah Square, like my brother Paul. He said to me, Hallelujah, 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 man. <laughs> I don't know that much to sing. All right. So whenever you <laughs> want to get started, just let us know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now that's great, man. Thank you. Thank you, brother. One thing that, that I'm uh, reading now is Ezra, um, Ezra, uh, fourth of Red Ezra, chapter one to six is very powerful. I never, I love this book now. It's very good. Oh, it's excellent. It's excellent. Yeah. It, it's, a, it's a contest, context with, with what, what uh, we live in now. I mean, I recommend to anybody in this channel to read Ezra uh, um, chapter 8, 1 to 6. It's pretty impressed. Go ahead, read, read the verse. I don't have it here. I, I, I just write down in my hands. <laughs> okay. But it, it, it's it's amazing. I was listening because I, I work, you know, you know, I put in my uh, Bluetooth and, you know, I have a, my Bible lessons and, you know, my teachings, my job. Sure. Mm -hmm. Praise Yah. Praise Yah, brother. Thanks for being here. And uh, Devor is joining us. And then we're going to do some singing to close out. We're going to sing. Uh, and so. Hallelujah. Uh, but thank you, brother Jose. Uh, let's say hello to Devorah. And then if anyone wants to sing, we're going to sing after that. And uh, go ahead, Sister Devorah. How are you? Shalom. I'm doing good. Uh, it's the two weeks left for me. I'm a teacher. So then I'm on spring break. Or I mean, summer break. Two weeks. What time does school get out? I mean, school's out everywhere. Not in Canada. Oh, okay. <laughs> and it's the last two weeks, the kids are a bit of a handful. And I work at an inner city school. And um, 
I'm a teacher that teaches, I'm an intervention teacher. So I work with indigenous students and students at risk. It's a very demanding time of year. So I appreciate prayers. Um, I wanted to weigh in on the conversation that had begun about lying. Where did you that come from? Were, well, we were, you were talking a couple of times about lying to save somebody's life. Oh, previous, you, okay, but yeah. like it was a conversation. And um, something that always stuck with me is I had read in a book by Corey Ten Boon. She's a Dutch lady that um, assisted yes. Amazing in the story. war. Amazing yeah. Story. And um, I was reading in this book and she was saying that <clears throat> she wasn't as virtuous, but there was a younger girl there that just never in entertained the thought of lying. Like she just couldn't and of course at the time they were um providing shelter for a, a jewish lady and the germans came in and they had a hiding spot underneath the kitchen table so they had to move the table and open the floor and then there was a, a spot uh, reserved for her down there and so when the german guard came around and asked this younger lady this younger girl where, you know, she, she started laughing and she said she's under the table because she couldn't, she could, she, at that time in that context, she couldn't uh, think about lying. And um, the German guard thought he was, she was making fun of him and they didn't look under the table. So God can provide answers without lies i'm not i'm not judging i'm just saying that that story stuck with me that i i always thought yeah if you have the faith to tell the truth god can do anything yeah well it's not a lack of faith not to tell the truth but on the other no, hand no. I, but on I, the I'm other scary. hand yeah. i mean each uh each situation needs to be individualized but but i hear what you're saying and it's like you know we got to proclaim the word of Yah, no matter what, you know, and uh, th that's an amazing story. And uh, it's, a, it's an, in an interesting topic indeed. And uh, but thank you for sharing that. I do have a song. Great. And then maybe Max will sing too, right? Um, I, I don't know it that well, but I'll sing it. We are moment, you are forever, Lord of the ages, God before time. We are vapor, you are eternal, love everlasting, reigning on high. Holy, holy, Lord God Almighty, worthy is the Lamb who was slain, highest praises, honor and glory be unto your name. Be unto your name. We are the broken. You are the healer. Yeshua the redeemer. Mighty to save. You are the love song. We'll sing forever, bowing before you, blessed in your name. Holy, holy, Lord God Almighty, worthy is the Lamb who was slain. Highest praises, honor and glory be unto your name. 
Be unto your name. Dear Abba, I just pray for everyone in this uh, meeting and watching and Torah Life Ministries and all of our family, friends, community, and the countries we live in, that your name would be exalted and that your love would flow and that you would protect us as times grow darker and that people would see that there is a hope and that is your son, Yeshua. Praise Amen. God. Praise God. Thank you so much for that. And uh, Brother Max, you want to sing a song? Yeah, yeah, sure. I've got a, um, uh, this is apparently a hymn, but I don't know many people that know it. I serve a risen Savior, he's in my heart to do. I know that he is living, whatever man may say. I see his hand of favor, no, he's always fair, and just the time I need him, he's always there. He lives, he lives, Yeshua lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along the narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives, he lives within. My heart. In all that is around me, I see his loving hand. And if there's ever trouble, he helps me to withstand. I know that he is leading as I pray and fast. The day of his appearing will come at last. He lives, he lives, yes, you will live today. He walks with me and talks with me along the narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. Rejoice, rejoice, believer. Yeshua reigns supreme. Eternal hallelujahs to our Elohim. The hope of all who see him, the joy of all who come. So good and kind. He lives, he lives, yes, you will live today. He walks with me and talks with me along the narrow way. He lives, he lives, salvation to impart. You ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. Hallelujah. Crazy ah, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Brother Tom, you have your hand up? Yeah, yes, I do. I um, wrote down some lyrics for a uh, song. I call it the Shabbat song. And I uh, have the chords. Haven't put it to, on my guitar yet, but I just uh, wanted to share it with everyone. It's okay? Okay, brother, go ahead. All right, the Shabbat song. <clears throat> The sun is setting in the west. We're getting ready for our rest to usher in Shabbat. The busy things in our heads, put them aside, take a rest to partake this Shabbat. Rejoice, Shabbat. Rejoice, Shabbat. Rejoice, Shabbat. We gather together in our place to worship Yahweh. There is no haste to welcome in his Shabbat. Yahweh told us take a rest to set apart us from the rest to honor the Shabbat. Rejoice, Shabbat. Rejoice, Shabbat. Rejoice, Shabbat. That's it. Thank you, brother. Thank you. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Uh, praise you. I forgot to mention, I don't know how I forgot it, but I posted something to my YouTube page. Uh, YouTube gave me a warning, not a strike, but a warning. And if I get a strike, they're going to stop me from uh, going live for a whole week. They said they're going to stop my live streams for a whole week. So if you didn't read that, my warning was on a video called, uh, is the, I don't even want to say the word, the mark of the beast. The word starts with the letter V. <laughs> I don't want to say it because I don't want to have an issue with them. But please, it's important that you all follow me on, on social media. I do not have a mailing list. The mailing list for me costs $500 a month to pay the mailing list service. And I, I don't have that money to do that. So I don't use my mailing list. So please, uh, you can follow me. My website is TorahLifeMinistries.org. But I'm on Instagram. I'm on Facebook. If for some reason I'm not able to do this over YouTube, or I might have to do it on another account on YouTube, I do have other accounts, I need to notify you. I'm on Patreon, and all those links are below my videos, all my other videos, Patreon, Facebook, uh, Instagram, so I could post and let everybody know where the week, because they won't let me go live. And, and that was for an old video. It's not even for a new video. So one day I could wake up and they could say, well, you can't get on here anymore. Or even your channel's not around. Uh, Paul? So I think he froze. She asked the star, star says she doesn't do social media. So praise the for you. That's even better. But my website, TorahLifeMinistries.org, is you can find it on there. What, Brother Tom? Nothing, I thought you froze. You're good. Huh? No, nothing. You're good, man. Okay. Uh, and uh, yeah, Brother Jerry, your hand is up. Yeah, Paul, uh, Rumble. Start a Rumble channel. You can stream on there as much as you want. You can say anything you want. You can do. You can upload recordings on there and say whatever you want. I know. There's Rumble. There's Odyssey. There's a bunch of others you can do it on. But... Point being is, how is anyone going to know I'm on Rumble if they don't know I'm on Rumble? What I'm saying is my only form of communication with people right now is my social media. So I'm encouraging everyone here to get on my social media so you can know where I am. So I, okay. I can say I have a channel on Rumble or whatever. Let me tell you this. The reason why I do this on YouTube, everybody, and not on one of those other networks is because the loss of this world. Those without fellowship at home, for the most part, they're not looking at Rumble. They're not looking at Brightonton. They're looking at YouTube. And even though YouTube kind of blocks my stuff and I don't show up on everyone's link, there have been a lot of people over the years that have come to this fellowship, but they just found us because it just popped up on their screen. I'm not saying that can't happen with those other things, but what I'm saying is YouTube has a bigger reach. And this is why I do it live. I could simply give out the Zoom link to everybody and say, just meet on Zoom next Wednesday, at next next Friday at 8, 8 o'clock. We don't even have to do social media. We could just say, here's the Zoom number. Just click on this link and we'll all meet on Zoom. We could do that. But the point of it being live is that somebody could, is, is who knows what they're looking at. They're looking at porn or something on, on YouTube. The next thing you know, something pops up. You know, and they and you know, so it, it can work with other things too, but that's why I do it. Yes, brother Jerry, I, I wasn't saying you know, abandon YouTube, but you can do both. I've got friends that do live streams twice a week and they have people calling in, they do Skype and you know, phone calls, and they do uh, they do Zoom and they and they do a live stream and they do it on five channels simultaneously. So I'm just saying it's possible to do it. I'm not saying abandon YouTube. I'm just saying, but it's possible to do others at sure. the same time. That's all sure. I'm saying. It is. Yes, it is. I actually joined the Brighton Tin, and I joined. Uh, oh, there was another one that I joined also. But, but, but point being is, if you follow me, if I get kicked off one, if you go to Instagram, I can tell you where I'm at, and so on. So yeah. So uh, just so you just so you all know, but yeah, Jerry, I'll look into that. And people are telling me about Odyssey and all these things, but uh, yeah, it's not about bringing the people. I could just tell everybody to meet me on Zoom. It's about finding those new people. Remember, 
YouTube is 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 where uh, the lost are. You know, <laughs> those 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 righteous places now that are not covering up information and everything else. That's partly like going to the church and preaching to the church, and it goes against my message. It goes against my focus. And, uh, and, and I don't have anything wrong with those people. I, you know, my focus is, look, let's say guns, for example. If I want to promote guns, I go to one of those other networks and, and everyone there is in agreement with me. I want to be on the network that everyone's disagreeing with me. You understand? I want to get the word out where people don't know it. But we do need a social media platform to get this on and you know so yes i'm i'm thankful for those other networks but uh you know this is why i go i'll do a health talk in a new age store you know and somebody's struggling somebody's going to get it and uh but praise Yah, you know Yah's so good and uh he opens up other avenues and i do have other channels that i haven't done anything with on youtube i have a channel called uh, I love it. I just had to pay for the domain. It was called uh, uh, Eat Eat the Scroll. Eat the Scroll. How's that one? Eat the Scroll. <laughs> or Eat this Scroll. But then I also have a Read and Repent. Read and Repent is another one I use when I street evangelize. Read and Repent. Yes. The less social media, the better. <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. So be careful. Somebody said, is it Torah Life Ministry, the Messianic resource? No, 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 no. See, this is a problem. There's another ministry called Torah Life Ministry. I'm Torah Life Ministries. And I think this might be the why that I don't get offerings or, or any, any, anything. I mean, literally, I mean, I mean, nothing hardly comes in. And I'm thinking people might be sending it by there by accident to Torah Life Ministry. I'm Torah Life Ministries with a uh, T R I E S at the end. So if anyone's sending to Torah Life Ministry, the Messianic Resource, that's not my website. That's not about me, and I need to look into that. But it might be a major issue because none of you send anything. Uh, I give so little. I mean, literally, you'd have to laugh. I mean, not even laugh or cry that a ministry like that I'm doing when you see. What, what 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 people give is is just it's it's sad and then i go online like tonight when i saw all the people giving this is what i see on regular streams like when i see other people's streams and then ours you know i get we give uh somebody gives ten dollars i'm thankful for it i'm very thankful for it but i'm thinking it might be going to the other ministry by accident oh um, you should put your paypal link in the description of all your videos uh, my, my links are there under all my videos to, to, to donate in the description. Okay. All right. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So anyway, but praise Yah Yah provides. He's good. Uh, we have Charles wants to say something and then we're going to do a song and then we're going to close for the night because I want to get to sleep for Shabbat. So, uh, praise Yah. And so I'm not sure tomorrow, if we, if we're not on at 10 30 tomorrow, we'll be on a little later. We'll see. Uh, but look out tomorrow because YouTube doesn't even let people know when we're on anymore from what I hear. Uh, Brother Charles, your hand is up. Yeah, you should uh, make sure that somebody doesn't uh, mistake you for saying uh, that uh, on your health, uh, health channel about um, eat this scroll that they don't think it, you're saying eat this squirrel. <laughs> yes, yes. Yes. True, true, true. All right. Thanks, thanks, man. Well, the sad thing about it, too, is if you were saying stuff about uh, little children on there and about other things like that, most of the world would have no problem with what you were saying. Yeah, yeah, it's true. That's true. Uh, yes, brother. Thanks, Charles. Brother Max. Yeah, I just wanted to um, to raise an issue with with um, with the Hallelujah Scriptures Ministry. Uh, they're quite snowed under. We've got a lot of um, 
large parcels going out. So if anybody happens to be in the warehouse area, which is in New Jersey, um, could you contact uh, Hallelujah Scriptures through their email it's channel? It's not snowing in New Jersey. Com. What's it's, that? Not sno it's not snowing in New Jersey. No, no, it's not snowing. So I uh, do you but, said they're snowed under. Oh, yes, right. Yeah, yeah. No, they, they are just snowed under with lots of work. Oh, like it's oh a, it's wait, a is, colloquialism. That a, is, that a, is that a New Zealand term? It, maybe it is. I, I wasn't aware of it, but they are um they are inundated with lots of work. That's oh, okay. it that way. So, yeah, what, so what New, you, New Jersey. So you need help in New Jersey is what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty much what, what to say. Uh, anyone? Yeah, about five days. Okay. Okay. Contact you, uh, Hallelujah Scriptures if they, it, okay. Hallelujah yep. Scriptures. Yep. Okay. Give them the website, hallelujahscriptures.com, right? Yeah, at hallelujahscriptures.com. Just look for the contact. And, um, and even if you know someone in the New Jersey area who, who might want to be able to help, then, um, yeah, please apply for that. Okay. Well, we're, thank you. Thank you, brother. We're about to close here. Bobby just got on say hello. Shalom, Bobby. How you doing? Shalom. <laughs> uh, good to good see you, man. Uh, just uh, <clears throat> had some big blessings. Uh, got, got a van that uh, the engine rebuilt and everything and getting it licensed. Everything got blessed. And I've had it for almost a year, you know, because the engine was really needing uh fixed up but i'm so excited about that blessing praise god yeah. thanks for sharing it with us i'd like everybody to ask everybody to pray and ask that god protect our nation from red dawn um uh, so many people that are not watching the correct news uh i pray that that we get um, protection from uh, what what could happen, um, <clears throat> and uh, you know, keep an eye out if y'all can for yourselves, because uh, uh, it's it's coming on pretty quick. So um, she's going to be, or Yahweh is going to be. Uh, making his mark on the amount of olives here pretty soon. So, uh, but <clears throat> I, I seen a trumpet. It's a silver trumpet. That's very old that I want to get. <laughs> and I just haven't been able to get to it. <laughs> it's got a mouthpiece and all that. So, yes. Well, brother, thanks. Thanks for getting on here and sharing. And, uh, we're getting ready to close here. Uh, 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 we're going to have a song to say goodnight, but let's say hello to some other people. But Bobby, thank you, and I'm glad uh, and praise Shabbat God for your blessing of your van there. <clears throat> yes. Yeah, if, there's any, if there's any uh, families in New Jersey, Hallelujah Scriptures, like Brother Max saying, they, they need help getting some shipments out of the, this, the Bibles. So uh, definitely... Uh, Contact uh, Hallelujah Scriptures to learn more about uh, how you can get in touch and help them. Uh, all right. Uh, Brother Will, Shalom. How you doing, man? Shalom, Shalom. Shabbat Shalom, family. Shabbat Shalom, Israelites. Shabbat Shalom. Uh, Today is a great day. I'm here with my beloved son and his beautiful wife. Say hello. Shalom. Shalom. shalom, shalom. Thank you for uh, coming my by grandson, and saying hello. That, yeah, that's my grandson awesome. here. That's my other grandson. And shalom. that's Tobias right there. Huh. Yeah, it's a blessed day, man. Uh, you know, I haven't seen them in about five years. And uh, the boys are big. I'm having fun over here. Y'all blessed me with a visit from my hey. family. Wow. Yeah. Praise y'all. I'm so uh, ya. joyful for you, brother. That's great. Yeah, I just wanted to say hello to the family and to you. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, check it out. Shabbasu, blow the shofar. Hey, show them how to blow the shofar. Oh, it's in the car. 
Now, next time. Okay. <laughs> anyway, I catch you later, brother. Shalom. Good night. All right. Everybody. Maybe we'll see you tomorrow. Shabbat shalom. Okay. Home, call me later. I'll talk to you. Shalom. Okay. Shalom. All right, uh, everybody. So before we go tonight, we're going to end up with a song. I just want to let brother Israel know. Shalom, Israel. Uh, minus the, the $17 somebody donated to the ministry before I made that announcement. Uh, we raised, I don't know the math offhand, but about $340 uh, or something. I'll be uh, uh, PayPaling over to you. And I want to thank everybody who gave for that. Thank uh, you. And uh, praise you. Yes, Joel Israel. Yes. Thank you. Y'all no, bless you. Thank you. Brother, use the money wisely and, uh, sure. and we just pray for you get fellowship and help. And I also gave his phone number out and his email. If yes. anyone wants to contact me, but let's let's pray for him right now. Uh, dear Heavenly Father Yahweh, we pray for Brother Shaul. Father Yahweh, we pray that his situation, whatever your will is, will be done, and that he could be at peace and shalom. And Father, that this this uh, money will help him. But Father, we just pray that he would be able to, you know, get off the streets from being homeless and to have a place to stay and. And just people to fellowship with in Yeshua's name. Hallelujah. Yes, brother. All right, brother. We'll uh I'll be sending it over. And uh so we gotta get going now. So do we have a song before we end for the night? I'm gonna sing. David keep his fellowship just joined us. Uh, shalom, Sabbath Keepers Fellowship. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Uh, hello and goodbye. <laughs> yeah, hello and goodbye. You know, as the Sabbath uh, begins, uh, sunset comes later, we keep getting later and later here. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, have you, to keep uh, our, we have to keep our tradition, you know. Sure, sure. Do you want to sing a song to close us for the night? Yeah, we can if you like, sure. Sure. We can sing Lila Tub, I mean, that's a... And then we already did that one. Yeah, we've done that like 90 million times to put everybody to sleep. I bet. Okay. We can do um, our old standby. The best song ever. Can you sing along? You can sing along if you like. I hope you all will. <clears throat> Just keep working up. Is it? Is it uh, Was it CQ Church? <clears throat> We figured we were too late for music. It's all right. I'll just pull on the strings a little bit hard. Y'all ready? Yeah. <clears throat> <clears throat> Seek ye first the kingdom of Yahweh. These things shall be added unto you. Alleluia, alleluia. Ask and it shall be given unto you. Seek and ye shall find. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Everybody, thank you for uh, 
for this blessed night. Thank you all for being with us here tonight. Have a great night. Yali be with you. And uh, shalom to everybody out there. And uh, please join us tomorrow morning, uh, uh, 1030, or maybe a little, a little bit later. We'll see uh, what time we get on. But Yah be with you. And uh, shalom, shalom, everybody. Have a blessed night. Thank you. Shabbat shalom. And a blessed Shavuot to everyone keeping it this weekend. Shabbat shalom, fam. Shabbat shalom. Thank you.